Okay, if we could get everybody seated, we're going to give away a free Lexus. You laugh, but I'm not kidding. <laughs> All right, I've taken a hostage, and I'm going to kill him if you guys don't sit down. Please sit down. Please, please, please. <laughs> You have to be sitting down in about a minute and a half or I'm going to kill the hostage. <laughs> I'm going to introduce Richard Dutch. Richard has been a longtime Barnabas Group member, and he's going to lead us in prayer for the evening. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Please bow your heads, please. Heavenly Father, you are Lord, you are our Savior, Father, and I want to thank you for the privilege to gather in your holy name this evening. We give you all the glory, Lord. And we ask that you make yourself present and bless tonight's event, tonight's food, tonight's presenters. We know you control all the outcomes, Lord. And Father, I ask it if it is your will that everyone in the room tonight pay close attention to the presentations and open up their hearts to volunteer their, their time, their talent, their treasure, their temple, or their prayer to help these worthy ministries. We pray this in your holy and your precious name. Amen. Hey, and I said, hey, wait a minute. I said I would give away a Lexus. Somebody led, left their Lexus keys at check-in. Okay, so pull out your tickets and we'll grab a number. <laughs> on page three, you'll see some information on Facebook. Each time that we have a meeting, San Diego has a meeting the night before, and then we have a contest to see who can put the most pictures on our Facebook page between San Diego and us. San Diego usually wins. We've got a pretty easy challenge tonight. I think they had five pictures last night. So we need you to pull out your camera or your uh, cell phones, which you don't hear very often in a meeting like this, and take a photo of the people next to you, or take a photo today with one of the ministries that you meet and post it on Facebook. All the directions are there. I posted four of the five pictures last night, so I know it's easy to be done. All right, if you turn to page five, it talks about our feedback forms. At the end of every presentation, there's a feedback form. If you look at page 35 as an example, Obre, who will be presenting later tonight, has their feedback form on page 35. That's a way that you'll connect with the ministries. So we'd ask you, as the ministry is speaking, to look at the feedback forms, see how you can get involved, check the appropriate boxes. Across the top of those feedback forms, there's numbers from zero to 10. If you just want uh, to give the uh, ministry some information. Maybe you want to tell them that what they said inspired you, or maybe you want to give them a connection with somebody that you know that they should talk to and you want to put their uh, contact name and information down. Then you, but you don't want uh, the ministry to call you to circle zero. If you circle 10, that means call you right away, that you really want to get in touch with them, you want to sit down, have a cup of coffee with them, and see how you might get involved. We'd ask that on those feedback forms that you would print your name, your email address, your phone number, and do that in a, in, so that it's legible. At the end of the evening, when you walk out the double doors out there, we're going to have baskets out there, and you'll be able to tear those feedback forms out and drop them in the appropriate basket, and then the ministries will be able to contact you, or if you want emails from them or whatever they, you might, uh, however you might want to be connected with them, that they'll be able to do that. A couple ground rules on that. It's okay not to respond to everybody. So we want you to learn to say no, listen to the Holy Spirit, and be guided by where your passions are. Uh, once again, as I said, if you can get, offer the ministry encouragement, that's a big th deal as well. I'd also ask you that when the ministry calls, give them a call back. If you haven't been to Israel, we have uh, our Israel trip that's going to be taking off here on October 20th. And that we close the registration on that in just a couple of days, on August 21st. So on page 6, you'll see information on the Israel trip. It's a great trip. We've got 27 people that are going. Bob Shank and, and Sherry are going, uh, and Tom and Joanne Doyle will be leading it. It's a small group. We have nice hotels, great food. And raise your hand if you were on the Israel trip last year. Okay, ask these people if you're at all interested. Ask them if they enjoyed it. On page 7, you're going to see some information on Journey of Giving. And Chris and Tiffany Duncan are going to lead us through this 22-hour process for Barnabas Group members only. And we're going to do this on sometime during the first quarter. We will uh, get together down at the Blue Lantern Inn in uh, Dana Point. The only cost to the member, to you guys, would be that your night uh, at the Blue Lantern Inn. But we'll pick up all the other costs for the Barnabas Group. 
It'll be a small group of about 16 people where we'll really dig into the Bible and talk about generosity in a small group setting. And Chris and Tiffany Duncan will lead that. And last and surely not least, take a look at page 13. If you haven't done a SWAT team meeting this year, we'd ask you to get involved. Ron Henry, where's Ron? Okay, Ron, around here somewhere. He's way, way in the back. Uh, Sign up with Ron and get on the SWAT teams. I can guarantee you that God will use you and you'll be blessed. We've done several SWAT team meetings already this year. I know there's three or four more left before year end, so make sure you get on, on those. Restrooms, you go out this door, turn right, turn two lefts, and there's your restrooms. And I'm finished, all right?